Firstly, why you go and listen to the Guru? Why you ask the Guru? Firstly, if you have already taken your decision, then it's of no use asking. You see, very often people come and ask, Oh, Swamiji, is it okay like this, this, this and this? You see, in the mind of the people, when they are asking a question, in the mind, they already have an answer. Whether you tell them left or right, they will do what is in the mind. This I have met many, you know. So, and they want to hear what they have in the mind. As long as you tell them what is nice, what they have in their mind, it is very good. If you don't tell them what they want to hear, no, you are good, you are bad. So, what, who, what can you do? Yeah. And gurus will not tell you what you want to hear. will tell you what is or not. I see. If it is, do you have to be in a relationship? He will tell you, yes, go. Build up your relationship. Grow with it. But if it is not, why? what would the guru gain from that? Tell me. Eh? What would the master gain in telling you not to be in a relationship or to be in a relationship. Does the master gain something from that? Eh? He don't gain anything. So the advice what he's giving is not for him. It is for you. And it's up to you to listen or not to listen. You listen, you will benefit. If you don't listen, it is up to you. Tomorrow when it doesn't work, don't blame the master for it. Blame yourself for it.